welcome to Broadwood Stadium, home of Rangers. It's the second meeting between these two sides of Rangers and Glasgow City and the big head-to-head duels that we are expecting in the top three sides in the SIPL this season. It is a torrential day in terms of wind and rain. Hopefully it can lead to conducive to a good game of football. It's a massive match and both sides are keeping things pretty stable. Big win for Rangers last week and they're unchanged this week. Lizzie Arnott with 14 goals in all competitions, 10 in the league will be a key threat, as will Kayla McCoy in there. The top goal scorer in all competitions is Kirsty Hedder with 15, she is on the bench. Just the one key change from Leanne Ross, who continues an interim charge with Amy Muir back into the side for Chloe Wanton, who has impressed playing recently. And it has received fairly settled. Lauren Davidson, 17 goals so far this season in all competitions. Emily Whelan with 11. Of course, Lauren Davidson, who scored the penalty in the game at Petersville Park in the first meeting between the two. Sean Murdoch is the referee this afternoon. balloon that somehow managed to find its way onto the pitch and the ball goes out of play anyway and uh, Jeff Pfeiffer's like trying to chase two balls there the big balloon that somehow made its way on the pitch it's really really gusty here an aerobics ball that's uh, somehow managed to get its way onto the pitch from somewhere from the ledger centre next door it's the first dangerous set piece for Rangers on the game and it's over it 28 forward and blue pretty much everyone back in orange on it to float he'll try and get something on there and it's over Griffiths had to keep her eyes on it to make sure good flick on from Hill good connection over the bar and into the roof of the net Ball skips across here and Brogan Hay might come in and well there was a good chance there for Brogan Hay, the ball coming across and almost came to a standstill, everyone stopped and managed to get a shot but wayward from goal, probably not the best chance we've had in the game. Reflection there and Kozak now for City, Davidson. Here's Kozak, trying to slip an Emily Whelan here. Tight on the angle and was well shadowed. And Davidson then off the clearance away. Space here for Lawler to get on with it with a throw in from Muir. Back it goes to Sully's number three. Chinchia. Turning away and having a shot, and well, good power on that, but right into Jennifer Fais my drift. First uh, shot on target of note we can see from City as we hit the half hour mark. Comes off Hill and now Whelan bursting away. Sniffs off uh, Doherty. Just gets enough to find support in Arnott. McCoy. Kozak pinching off Kerr's toes, but Panez working hard trying to keep the side path. Now he remains with City. Davidson. Cleaned up by David. Another Davidson on the pitch. Time uh, Hannah Davidson was a little loose. Back it goes to Fife. Oh, Whelan comes in there, and is this going to find its way to the back of it? No! Goal saving clearance from Catherine Hill, the Rangers captain. There's the press from Whelan. Nearly caught out five, but just not enough pace as the ball trickled and trickled towards the line. 
Well, Callan Hill was there. Get clearance on and look for the chase and wheel in. Davidson back to five again, who had the time. Warren Davidson now from Glasgow City. Space for Foley. Kozak by Hannah Davidson once and twice. Flash across to high for Wheelan. Chinchilla coming at the back post. A bit too much venom in that in the end. As it sails away at the other side. Great play from Kaya Kozak. Good ball fired in. Another chance to put that ball in. Too much weight on it for the two that are coming in. Ball into the box. Gibson trying to get the Hard gets it away. Big chance at the end. As it was wheeled in there and it was just ducked underneath the woodwork. And that is that at Broadwood. And the point of facing the two sides probably favours Gladys they fought slightly more than Rangers. They remain further behind, drinks Celtic a bit closer with, of course, still plenty of these top three games to play in for the rest of the season, particularly before the split. A game where there wasn't too many clear-cut chances, Rangers had a couple of half moments and a bit of a more right at the end of the game where the ball came in, nearly went underneath the crossbar. City had one or two little moments as well, but just in truth, both sides cancel each other out on the most part. And in the end, this will be a title race which continues and continues down the line for the rest of the season. And a cold Broadway that finishes Rangers 0, Glasgow City 0.